Hello folks, Whiskey here again. Um, I'm doing something a bit different today. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my um, in my lair, so to speak. Uh, this is where all the magic happens a lot of the time. And I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing and a review, and well, first impressions, of the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Uh, I picked this up today. Uh, I was looking for an alternative to my tablet, which is now on the fritz, and I'm kind of getting a bit annoyed at the fact it keeps doing it. And I wanted to replace my laptop and netbook. Uh, I've got a, a few spare old ones knocking about, they're being a bit dated, so... Picked this one up today. This is the uh, i5 and 4 gigabyte uh, memory version. And it's got 128 gig internal memory, storage space, and 4 gig of RAM, I should say. So let's, uh, let's open this up. Just use my uh, multi-tool, so bear with me while I start pulling out blades. And I'm just going to slice through. Oh, oh, well, that. that's a good thing. I don't need that. So, they've very conveniently given me a tag just here, which will allow me to peel it back. Which you don't really get. So, that's a nice little fork. And then the whole lot should just slide out. Now, bonus points. That was uh, good packaging design. You don't see enough of that. So, here's the box and the product sat just in here what we got very conveniently in the overlay if I turn it around to this one you might not be able to see that it's not very clear but it gives you where each bits of pieces are so on this side there's obviously your Windows logo that's part of it but it's showing the powers over here USB freeze over here display outputs there power up here and volume controls there so that's 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 a nice feature uh, I'm just gonna lift it out again using the very convenient tag they provided and this is the uh, this is the tablet. As you can see, it's very lightweight. It's actually probably lighter than my Samsung Galaxy Tab. So that's some good going, I would say. And then what have we got in the box underneath? They've included the uh, a battery for the stylus. So we'll just pull that out and that out. And then the good old instruction manual. And then I believe because there's some more weight to this box. Where are ah aha I didn't have to pull all that out so I'm just going to tuck that back in quickly. I'm going to take a look at here. Okay, and that is everything out of that box. So I'm going to just tuck that out of the way. So in the box, let me move that out of the way for a moment. Tablet, stylus, battery for the stylus, the Surface Pro manual, and I'm assuming the power supply. So let's just pull that out. And let's go to the transformer. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's start with the manual. Probably going to cut through elements of this, so don't you worry. I'm not going to make you sit through while I read a manual. And yes, I do read the manual before I start. I am a bloke, very much a bloke, but uh, reading manuals is something I always do. Okay, so let's have a look. Setting up the Surface Pro, I recommend you have a wireless network access, being I'm, I'm sat right next to Wiskynet, so I don't need to worry about that. And a Microsoft account, have one of them. Get your Surface Pen ready. Unscrew the top of your Surface Pen, like so. And then insert the included AA battery. And it's been, oh, and nice and easy to get that out. Get off, right. And which way around does this go? Aha, positive down. And keep that. Okay, I'll keep that. Just tuck it around like that. There we go. So they do show this in about four different languages. So it's one instruction per page, but you have uh, your English there and then it kind of jumps around a lot. So Uh, and then it gives me the instructions. Yep, set up. Click the optional cover and flip out kickstand to the position you want. So I'm just going to take this out. Oh. Oops. Tore that a little bit. That's not the end of the world. I don't plan on keeping these kind of bits. And then we have on the back here a kickstand. I'll turn it that way. 
that's held in by a magnet. So I can then set my stand up like so. I'm going to turn it slightly so you guys can see over there. Right, and then it gives you the instructions. Also, while I'm at it, actually, I picked up a keyboard in a lovely purple. Uh, I was given the option at the time of uh, purple and black. The pragmatist in me said, I need black because I always work in the dark and I don't want to be seen, etc, etc, etc. That sounds really creepy, but um, anybody that works in media knows what I mean. Um, but the they didn't have any, so I went for the purple instead, which is great because I love purple. Now, something I'm going to show you on this, in fact, I'm going to use the camera. Hello, guys up there. Might be a little easier for you to see. In fact, no, the lighting will be crap, so I'll show you to this camera. At the top, you've got a nice strip of strong magnets. Are you going to focus on that? Yeah, and there you go. So you can see at the top, some magnets and contacts. These marry up with the contacts on the bottom here. I don't know how well you could see that, but I'll go for it. And then it's just strong magnets and it clips in just like that. That was that was very easy. Okay, we're, we're on a fighting chance now. And then we can tilt it up using more magnets. So we've got a nice typing surface. Um, it looks pretty swish to me. All right, so plug in the power. And I came pre-prepared. Um, I have got behind me a PowerPoint. Once I uh, get through all of these cables and me gubbins. Okay, that's weird. It doesn't, it looks like a propriety, but it's actually a standard figure of eight. So that's okay. I was a little worried then. I don't like it when companies decide to give me propriety power cables. That is always uh, disappointing. Now, the power is, okay, yeah, that is most certainly a propriety uh, power cable. Uh, focus on that. You probably will I'll give you. There you go. I'll give you a, uh, a proper look at these in a bit, but as a very strange propriety ca cable. So screw all along a bit in a bit, and it ought to tell me where the power input is. Okay, so it's, it's not. So I'm going to have to be clever with this. It's going to be on this side, I'm imagining. Aha, there it is. Magnets again. They like their magnets. So, nice bright LED telling you that it's connected. And we are going to turn it on. So the power was up here. I think the power was up there or am I being silly? No, the power's there. New toys, takes a moment. Keys light up. That's, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Uh, keyboard lighting up. That's a handy little feature. Uh, so much for being subtle. I'm going to put the knife away before I stab myself. So we're loading up the surface for the first time. Hopefully you guys should be able to see quite clearly over there. So I'm going to have a quick flick. Uh, some more instructions there. I don't know what it is. Setting up the pen. Okay. Aha. Right. Let's get some basic things out of the way. So it's, it's standard setup. Um... English, so we're in tablet. There we go. Right, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, London. Brilliant. That's what we want. The legal stuff. Uh, I have read and understood all of this. Typical. Uh, yes, you may have my firstborn. I didn't want it anyway. I I, I don't have a child. Uh, before anybody gets funny about that, I am uh, childless. Right. Uh, insert the battery and press and hold the top button until the light blinks. There should be a light up here, judging by the description. There we go. Pairing was successful. I didn't actually see the light blink at that point, but I'm going to go with it. So now my pen is set up and working. So I'm going to click next. Right, so Wi-Fi networks. Well, uh, we're in my lair. So at the moment, I've got my uh, Whiskey Cam 4, which happens to be the one above me. Hello, guys. I'm giving you a slightly different view. And we have got, uh, ooh, hover close by and you can see the pointer. That's handy. And we've got Whiskey in it. And it supports 5G, so I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to enter in my super secret code. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, 
Okay. You can change these at any time. Use express settings to personalize your speech, typing and linking, settings, calendar, etc. etc. Yeah, okay. Let Windows apps access your location, whatever. I don't mind that. I know there's a big thing with uh, Windows 10 and apparently mining your data, but I've been using Google and Android for the past uh, three, four years. If they want to know my data, you're welcome to it. I tell you what, phone me and we'll have a discussion and, uh, you, you know, buy me a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm not shy. Uh, so I'm going to use Express Settings. I'll, I want to get in there. Uh, and it's saying hello. So that's nice. Or hi. So they're just setting things up for me. Uh, we'll see how long this takes. Normally, it, um, oh, ha <laughs> ha here it starts with the fun stuff getting the critical updates so i might uh see how long this takes i'm probably going to cut this out uh typical windows setup which i don't object to by the way that is not a criticism uh the fact that when you first turn on the system and it decides to get all the updates that is fine by me um i am not one of these people that uh doesn't uh, keep things up to date uh, I update all the time and so should you really uh, I'm going to take this opportunity for a public service announcement update seriously the reason the biggest security flaw in all computer systems is the fact that people do not update if you do not update you leave your system open to vulnerabilities and attacks so those updates that you've been putting off do it up it right okay who owns this PC I own it this is my PC Okay, uh, make it yours. My, oh, okay, my Microsoft account. Uh, keypad, uh, while I'm typing, I'll give you a, a bit of information. The keypad's a bit... Uh, well, I mean, the, the, there's no depth. I mean, I'm so used to uh, mechanical keys. I feel It feels a bit... Um, I don't know if I'm pressing buttons. That's the... That's the thing. Um... It feels a bit uh, tippy-tappy, but that's kind of to be expected with something that's supposed to be compact and uh, quite neat and tidy. So, set up a pin. It's faster and more secure than a password. Mm, yeah, well, actually, I'll tell you what. It says on here, how can a pin be safer than a long password? So, let's, let's find out, shall we? Because your pin only works with this device, unlike passwords, which you might use to access all sorts of accounts, your pin is unique to this device. Mm. Uh, what if I use the same pin on everything? <sighs> Didn't think of that one, did you? Uh, I don't want to set a pin. I don't like pins. I like my password. I'm going to skip that step. Uh, get your files everywhere. Cloud. Yeah, okay. That's just telling me about that. I think. Yep. Just that if I save it to OneDrive, it'll propagate my voice. Cortana, Psychic, etc. I'm here to make you feel and get things done. So we're doing an initial setup. It's kind of what you would expect from a Windows 10 setup. Anybody that's done it so far, I've done it now on two machines. I've done it on my main rig uh, and I've been quite happy with it. There's only a couple of things I'm not overly fond with. And I've done it with my laptop. All in all, Windows 10 I've been quite happy with, which is one of the reasons I went for the Surface. Uh, all right, there we go. Welcome back. Had a little bit of a cut there because it was just doing the uh, initial setup. As you can see, I'm on my desktop with my lovely Wildcard Productions uh, Joker and Jester, sorry. The what have I got here? So uh, it's doing a one uh, OneDrive update. That looks very much like a laptop to me. So I'm just going to put the pen down for a moment, and I'm going to just have an explore. So there's a touchpad here on the surface. I have a hand out the way so you should see. Uh, unfortunately, it's got Internet Explorer. That's so that. But the first thing I do will use Internet Explorer to download something else. That's interesting. Now, there we go. Just took a moment to start itself up. So this is the Windows 10 um, start menu. I'm still not sold on it. It's better than the Windows 8 one by far, uh, but there's a few bits I'm not overly fond. Otherwise, it's, it's quite good. Some things that I've learned, I'm gonna share with you now. Uh, when I was having the demo in the store, uh, the Microsoft representative was very kind to show me some features. With the pen or stylus, click once on the top. <laughs> okay, aha. I've, missed, I've skipped a step here. So uh, it's supposed to open up OneNote doing that. I haven't got Office installed. So bear with me uh, while I... Okay guys, I've installed a couple of bits and pieces, Google Chrome and Microsoft Office. I'll install Adobe products at some point, uh, but given the size, I didn't want to sit here and wait hours for them to download it when I can do that later when I'm working. So 
got the stylus. Uh, before we go on to the stylus, I'm just going to talk about the, the pad at the moment. Now, the entire unit folds up nice and neat. So you've got essentially what is no bigger than an A4 binder. That will sit very nicely in my bag amongst my textbooks, uh, my production notes and the rest of it. So I'm, I'm weight wise, yeah, this one's reasonably heavy, but it's probably on par with my Galaxy Note, which is nearly half the size. Uh, so I'm quite impressed with the overall size and weight, to be honest. So we fold it out, fold the back out, which gives us our stand. And we can just open it up and by closing it, uh, it locks it, which is good. So obviously if I cover that, I don't know how it, it figures it out, but when it was closed, it's, it's locked it. So just by closing it, so I can lock myself back in. Oh, I didn't have my password selected. So let's try that again. Now, my only comment about the keyboard is there's a bit of a rattle. Uh, I'm not overly fond of that. I can live with it, but I think it's because it's so flat. It, it's something I'm not overly used to. The touchpad is uh, quite responsive. Uh, the resolution on the screen, very small. Uh, my eyesight's good enough. I can imagine it'd be easy to uh, change. However, I'm just going to disconnect it from the... Uh, I'm just going to pull that off. Like I say, it's all magnetic. So now we're just in the surface mode. If I swipe sideways, I can then pr press tablet mode and it goes into tablet. So we get, uh, you can see that. So now it behaves more like a tablet would. So I can fire up uh, the Internet Explorer, which I don't really want to do, but I can load up the calendar. Uh, I don't tend to use Microsoft. Uh, oh, uh, there we go. Ready to go. There we go. So there's my Outlook calendar. Uh, as you can see, I'm a bit devoid of appointments at the moment. Uh, this month is my month off, so that one of the reasons I'm treating myself. Uh, we can go back. So the buttons become a little larger, a bit easier to get to. Uh, you can check your, your weather apps and the things, uh, bits and pieces like that, which is nice and easy. And it always uh, choose your default. Okay, so I haven't actually, I've still got to set some of these up. So nice big on screen keyboard in tablet mode. Uh, so I can't really complain at that. So just going to Torquay, press enter. So there we go, there's a re weather report for Torbay at the moment. Um, I'm just going to pull my cable out of the way. Uh, I like how big this screen is actually. I was a bit apprehensive about the larger screen, but I, I can get used to this, uh, especially when I'm displaying uh, the amount of data that I am here. Uh, I think that's really quite good. Uh, so let's, let's um, look at something else that we can do. I'm going to leave it in tablet mode for a minute because I want to show the stylus. Now, apparently, I'm just going to exit out of this. Uh, press the stylus button on the top once. That was the, the button at the top. And we get into the writing mode, so, or OneNote. It opens it up automatically. So I've got a stylus, and I'm going to write uh, a little note here. Okay, initial thoughts was that the tracking is phenomenal. Uh, that is pretty much my handwriting. Yes, it is a, a, a massive scribble, but <laughs> that, that, that's just me. Um, I've not, I've never done anything like that. I mean, this, this is actually quite accurate. I mean, I could do it, use it to uh, uh, draw diagrams uh, explaining uh, various uh, bits and pieces uh, and highlight. I can change my, my color palette and um, you know just make my notes in class on production sites um, you know or I can um, you know so here's an important diagram
you know, I, I control like my diagrams, calculations, uh, I can, uh, let's have a look, I mean, I can add some more space, and I could get, uh, you know, uh, a little artistic with it, maybe, and um, it's been a, a while since I've uh, done something like this, but um, let's give it a go and see what I come up with. Um, I'm just going to draw a day and a bit of there, and uh, I've just uh, drawn you a pretty little flower. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That's really quite a responsive uh, stylus. I didn't quite expect something quite so nice. Something else that's good about the uh, for the note taking. Uh, so if I exit out of this uh, by pressing the tab on the side, I'm going to pull up a uh, Internet Explorer just because why not? And I, uh, oh wait, I don't need to get started. I'm going to pull up a an article. And let's see, uh, the world's fastest plane flew its last flight 16 years ago. So talking about the Blackbird, uh, which is the supersonic thing. Now apparently when I uh, say, so I've got this page here, I'm doing a bit of research. I could copy and paste, but apparently if I double click, it goes back to OneNote and, and then allows me, let's see if I can do this so you can see clearly, to capture the area and drop it straight into the OneNote. So that is now completely in my OneNote, and I can add various bits and pieces, various notes. Um, and then, I don't know, when I get back to somewhere a little bit more comfortable on the train home uh, from a production or my meeting, I can then fire, plug that back in. I can use my tab, and then I can just type underneath, uh, remember these notes and pictures. And I'll just draw a little smiley face. So there's the extract from the article, my little note, and uh, an illustration. I'm quite happy with that. That's really quite good. So in the next test, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to install Adobe, uh, something like Photoshop and Premiere, the two programs I probably use the most. After Effects might be a bit heavy, but I will do a run, a uh, stress test, see how well it does. So yeah, uh, that was my review of the Surface Pro 3, uh, first initial uh, impressions and unboxing to that moment. I'm happy. It's quick, it's responsive. The fidelity on the stylus is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to spend some time playing and get to know uh, some more bits and pieces, and I will do maybe another little um, look at what you can do with it. This is Whiskey, signing off. Thanks for watching that, guys. If you enjoyed it, consider watching one of the other videos, throw us a sub. Uh, give us a like, tell your friends, all that sort of lark. Um, yeah, keep you updated and let you know what happens.